So both players two and one. You haven't seen Dennis on stream in a couple of weeks, I think. Dennis has been running Sneak and Show. Also has played eight casts and a few other decks on stream with us. Painter. Anarchy making me feel better about my mistake. You would have been treated to a match where both I and Eric kept single Lotus Petal as only mana source and then did nothing for about 10 turns. Sounds exciting. <laughs> so maybe we're watching something a little bit more action-packed. All right, turn one DRC for Roland. I don't know if at this point in the event Roland knew that Dennis was on Sneak and Show. We'll find out how this goes. Whoa, big take back happening here. I'm just kidding, it's fine. Basic Island onto the nostalgic play map. Let's see what Dennis has. I Dennis playing around Wasteland, making a land drop, Brainstorm. Dennis, a collector of signed magic cards. So that's something to look out for here. If you like signed cards, you'll appreciate Dennis's selection. Also a collector of Chinese language cards as well. All right, there's a volcanic island. Brainstorm Surveil. Endy, thank you for the resub. 12 months for Endy. That's one year and a brand new beautiful badge for Endy. Congratulations, Endy. You did it. You did it. Well done. 12 months. <laughs> There's some spicy emotes. What's up, Andy? How's it going? I didn't know that. Is that okay? Well, you're at five right now. And you have a, you have a uh, turn around the stack. Got it. So I, I won't get the life until I, it's dead. So you have these seven in your hand right now, but you're at five. So this will get... Wasteland takes on the Volcanic. Thindry, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Yes, this is from Monday, two days ago. Game story a weekly. There's polluted delta and pass. You have a grip of an activation? Yep. I sourced it. Uh -huh. You activate it again, draw seven. Yep. So you will go back to 12, and then you will I draw see. seven more because it's on a stack. Got it, got it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, passing the turn after dropping a Delver. Looks like Roland has at least one Daze in hand. Unsure about forces. Also appears to have a Brainstorm. Looks like five cards or four cards. Five cards. Uh, I'll take the terminus. Expressive iteration here for Dennis. 
Rancid Wind says hello. Finally getting to experience 90s MTG live. Glad you're here. What's up, Rancid? Happy you can join us. Expressive on the stack, Roland having to think. People are on the edges of their seats. <laughs> and it resolves. Andy says, do we think EI will get the axe next? Um, it's definitely on the list of cards. I think that uh, the community, at least, I don't, I don't know what Wizards is doing, but the community is uh, thinking could make the format better if it were eliminated. I don't know. Kraken polluted Delta. Put a Yona in the yard? Yeah. Yeah, look at where my water bottle is. Expressive iteration. I mean, ponder, sorry, resolving. A little bit of slow-paced game here. We're not able to see hands too well from, from either player, but they're both trying to craft a hand that can get them through this game. Of course... Roland trying to attack with the creatures we currently see on the board and Dennis trying to sneak in or show us an, a, a, uh, an Emrakul or a Grusselbrand to win the game. So both players will need counter magic at some point if they're going to accomplish their mission. For Dennis, it's usually you want to show and tell or sneak attack and have backup counter magic to protect it. And for Roland, it's it's you're 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 trying to disrupt just enough to uh, get in the last couple of points of damage. Garbage Andy is here. What's up, Garbage Andy? How's it going? Good to see you. Jury Legacy says Blue Red is still great without EI. I agree. Zion Crew says the format is healthy. It's always going to be a deck played more than the others. And EI being, being two colors, I don't think it's going to get the ban hammer. It's not that broken. All right, here it is, show and tell. Everybody pay attention. Two art funds. Sure. Let's see what Roland has. Camp Hamster, thanks for the follow. Welcome. It's going well today, Garbage Andy. How's it going? All right, days to double surveil triggers for Roland. So days can, of course, be pl be paid for. See the Scalding Tarn in the top right. A fetch here for Dennis. The days is still on the stack. Gets the mountain and pays for it. To visualize the stack. You know what it is, too? Like, I play a lot of arena, and I feel like after seeing the interactions, like, play stand. Pyroblast. The main deck Pyroblast gets it for Roland. Double Surveil. I just took a sip out of two different cups. <laughs> That'd probably look funny. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just keep me in on top. Yeah, yeah I'm giving that to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I was waiting for your surveil trigger. Yeah, that was. Oh, go ahead. All right. So the surveil trigger left the card on top. 
And now we are moving on. Bolt on top for Roland. Does Roland have Delirium? Creature instant land currently. Bolt you double surveil. Bolt in the yard. Ponder in the yard. There's Delirium, and that's game. Roland gets there. Well played. All right, we have people arguing about Oko in the chat. Beseju pass. So Beseju, a, uh, an old trick for sneak and show to get around counter magic, and it's immediately wasted, so never mind on that. Garbage Andy said, I just built some popper decks. Maybe we can jam at the LGS soon. Yeah, hit me up. I don't think I've played much popper, but I'm, I'm down to try it. Toast Senpai, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Garbage Andy playing some Legacy is is a uh, big goal of mine. <laughs> we have to get we have to get all the arena streamers, every single one of them, to play Legacy with us. That that's that's the big plan. That's the big goal. I don't know. To Senpai says, hey, nice to catch one of these live. Been watching on YouTube for a while. Good to have you here. There are some um, legacy decks for anybody watching. There are some legacy decks that are way more affordable, don't have any reserve list cards in them. Notable are Eight Cast, Oops All Spells, Death and Taxes. Are there any others? Let me know, chat. But there, there are decks without reserve list cards that are great places to start if you're looking to get into Legacy and don't yet want to uh, invest in dual lands. And they're competitive, too. We're not talking about Tier 5 decks. We're talking about decks that can take down a tournament. Yeah, we have people in the chat mentioning Burn as well. Yes, Burn. Burn does not. Burn is, of all the decks in existence that can possibly win something, Burn is the cheapest, probably. Play land. Mono Black Curses has City of Traders, which is not. Which is which is on the reserve list. Wow. And you know, uh, you know the, this comes up so often on, on stream. I, I try to be as helpful as I can. And please don't take this as financial advice or anything. This is just the consensus opinion from myself and a lot of our viewers. Um, if, you're, if you have, I don't know, $500 laying around that you want to invest in magic cards. I know it's a lot of money. $500 laying around that you want to invest in magic cards. Okay, this imaginary scenario. Do not buy collector booster boxes. Buy dual lands. 
if you want to get into legacy. That seems to be the consensus opinion of the 90s MTG people. Again, the prices are outrageous. I'm not trying to give financial advice to anyone. Don't spend your rent money on dual lands. But uh, hopefully that's helpful to some people. Here's Ponder. Odawara is the land on Dennis's side, in case anybody's not familiar with that one. New card from Neon Dynasty. Ravioli, thanks for the follow. Welcome. There are some people as well that um, host and play in proxy tournaments. If that, if you know, if that's going on in your area, do that. <laughs> Is today Dark Zero's birthday? Happy birthday, Dark Zero! I think this just became a Dark Zero birthday party stream. All right, that's a volcanic island. Roland, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you, thank you. All right, here's sneak attack. Pay attention, everyone. This could be damage. This could be big trouble if it resolves. Let's see. Days will uh, get paid for. Sacking the Lotus Petal. I'll slow down R Dennis for at least a turn if it resolves. Hydroblast. Hydroblast countering the sneak attack. So Roland is safe for now. Do 12 post decks run a lot of reserve cards currently? I think the big one, in if you're trying to optimize 12 post, is the Tabernacle at Pendrel Vale. Attacking with the Insect now. Roland with the insectile aberration pulled halfway out of the sleeve, which I'm just going to say is an interesting choice. An interesting choice. That's, that's all I'll say on that. It's just interesting. Do I think trading days for pedal is worth it? Yes. In that situation, I do. If Dennis had protection for Sneak Attack and was able to force of will the Hydroblasts and Sneak Attack resolved, at least it would not have been able to be activated immediately. At least. Nick with terrible advice in the chat, just buy a lot of collector boosters of Dominaria and you are bound to get a Tabernacle at some point. Terrible advice. <laughs> the worst advice we've seen on stream so far. Here's Defense Grid. That's a, that's a real banger coming out of the sideboard for Sneak It Show. Force of Negation pitching Brazen Borrower. Ouch. All of those cards are pretty good. Defense Grid gets countered, though. I'm sure Roland would have much rather have casted that Force of Negation... And not had to pitch a card, but that's how it goes. Expressive iteration, a little bit of recharge possible here. Dennis still with a bunch of cards in hand. Likely has a Gristlebrand or an Emrakul in hand as well.
thinking about this expressive. Daze goes into exile, passing the turn. Another sneak attack. Force of Will pitching Merc Tide. All right, so Roland's had enough. All right, here, here's the uh, protection. Force of Will for Dennis now. Sneak attack it seems likely to resolve. Pitching Spell Pierce. Pyroblast. Wow, Roland had it all. And Dennis has it all as well. Force pitching Show and Tell. All right, sneak attack is resolving. Last card in hand for Dennis is likely a monster. Tapped out, though, and passing the turn at nine life. Down to six. This is close. Does Dennis have a creature? Activating sneak attack. Gristlebrand. Wow. Wow. So will Dennis activate this Grussel brand, I wonder? Seems risky. It will get sacrificed an end step. All right, he's activating it. Plays two Lotus Petals. Plays a Misty. Does roll an attack here? I think you have to. A sneak attack, Gristle Brand would be brutal. Attacking now with Insectile Aberration. Dennis does have to be careful. Six life. Taking three, down to three. Merktide. Yeah. All right, so this will be an 8-8 eight -eight Merktide. Force pitching show and tell on the Merktide, going down to two. There's Emmer Cool. And Gristlebrand. Wow. Chat thinks Dennis should have blocked with Gristlebrand there. Can't do that in Commander. Going to game three. Here's a turn one ponder for Roland. Pedal pass. DRC for Roland. 
It's likely Roland has counter magic in hand. You're not going to keep a hand that can't do much against sneak attack, against show and tell, rather. Against sneak and show. All right, there's a brainstorm. Waiting for this brainstorm res to resolve. Looks like Roland stopping on his own upkeep. Yeah. Yeah. I think these were good. Yeah, boarding into this one. I was like one man away from doing this, and turn before oh, yeah. like, yeah, you locked me out of the second game. I really like silence a lot. Wow, quite a pause here. Fetching on upkeep is rolling. Getting a volcanic. This is all on upkeep. Ponder Surveil. Lots of bagels jumping across the screen on today's li live stream. Something to note. Some people who watch this later on YouTube, believe it or not, some people actually watch this later on YouTube. They don't like the emotes and the hype trains and all that stuff, they just, they just hate all of it. So everybody just keep it down. Everybody behave yourselves. Keep things serious here. That's a besage you for land for turn for Dennis. Bolt you on end step, Surveil. Putting a brainstorm into the graveyard. Lots of bagels coming in now. Surveil on the stack. Dennis allows it. Card stays on top. We'll see if this expressive iteration gets responded to. Force of will, pitching force of will on expressive iteration. Wow. See a force of will in Roland's hand. Roland likely looking for a wasteland. Force. This is to protect expressive iteration, pitching Delver. No point in surveilling because we know the card on top. Let's see if there's a wasteland in there. There is the wasteland. 
That must have been the card found off the surveil, I bet. Yeah, the um the the land on Dennis's side is Poseju the original, who shelters all. <laughs> Pay two life at a colorless if it's spent on an instant or sorcery, it can't be countered. And enters the battlefield tap. But it, now it's wasted. But it's a, it's a uh sideboard card that these show and tell decks can use to make this show and tell you're seeing right now resolve. Show and tell on the stack now. Roland dazing it. Lotus Petal can pay for it. Card stays on top. Show and tell resolving. It'll be Gristlebrand. DRC for Roland. Gristlebrand will be hard to beat. Petty Theft can beat it. That's the out here. Ponder, double surveil. <laughs> There's Bobble in the yard. Turned on Sir Delirium, possibly. Days in the yard. Here's Ponder. So these DRCs will have to attack. This is not a deal. Ponder shuffle. What now? Draws the card off Ponder. Makes a land drop. All right, here's the sad attack. Does Roland have an unholy heat? No, so my my partner, I actually like the one. The one that's blocked. Oh, you're bolting your own guy. Yeah, okay. surveils. Yeah. Okay, so bolting his own creature to not allow Dennis to gain any life, and Dennis taking three. Interesting. This is a crazy game. All right, so drawing seven now is Dennis. It's after combat, so I'm not going to be able to sneak attack anything in this turn. At least not to attack. The one drop, thanks for the follow. I'm trying to think of what Roland needs to get. I mean, obviously, Brazen Bower bouncing this Grossel Brand would be great. This expressive iteration for Dennis probably means Dennis doesn't have. Anything too threatening in hand? Probably. So Lotus Pell on Exile. Plays it. Going to discard, discarding a Grizzle Brand and passing the turn. So what does Roland need? Needs a way to bounce Grizzle Brand. Um, price of Progress plus Lightning Bolt. Is that enough? Three, four, five, six. Bolt you. Surveil trigger is skipped. 
And it's now down to four. Okay, puts Pyroblast in the yard. Here's Brainstorm on end step. Pyroblast, put Pyroblast in the yard. Wow. Yeah. Just press of iteration happening. So, what's your plan if you're Dennis? Are you attacking here? Obviously, we don't know all the cards in hand for Dennis currently, but there's Mystic Sanctuary. Likely getting played. Yeah, I guess you're attacking. Put to 11, put rolling down to 3. I don't see any reason not to attack. Mystic Sanctuary put Force of Will on top. Yeah, Force of Will on top. Likely has a way to get it. Pass the turn. <laughs> Hydroblast was the card torn, uh, card drawn, and that will not do it. Dennis gets there. Well played. Great match. We've had some great matches on today's stream. Wow.